So we have a really beautiful description in, uh, from the prophet Isaiah in the Old Testament that begins our liturgy of the word in a special way. And it talks about God walking, uh, walking through the mountains. And it says, how beautiful are the steps of him who walks among us and revealing his arms like this, he blesses all of us with his love. Wow. God walking in our midst, blessing us with his love. Wow. That's where we begin this liturgy. Opening ourselves up to God's love and letting God's love touch our lives. That means that we are aware of what's going on in our lives. That means we woke up this morning. That's a big yay. I'm glad to have been awakened this morning. Because I know what it's like not to wake up. God calls us in a very special way to enter his love today. So what will that look like for you? personal because it's meant to be personal to you God loving you you know when we recall St. Peter we recall that he really struggled with what Jesus was teaching him and we all have our religion classes that we do and there's times when we struggle in faith too. And Peter even got to the point where he was so afraid and so struggling in faith with, with Jesus that he actually denied him how many times? Three. Three times. Three times. He denied him. And that literally broke Peter's heart. It calls to mind those moments when maybe we have failed God in our own lives. The time that we have needed to go to reconciliation or confession to receive forgiveness and healing. The story of the Gospel today from the Gospel of John is the very end of the Gospel. It's chapter 21. And it's a resurrection story. I don't know if you caught that. So Jesus has already died on the cross. He's already given his life for our sins and for Peter's sins. And he's appearing to the disciples at the lake. And they're eating breakfast together. Now imagine that. The risen Lord Jesus eating breakfast with you this morning. The oatmeal, the banana that you had. Imagine Jesus sharing in that. Or the cereal or whatever it was. Imagine the risen Lord Jesus having breakfast with you this morning. By the way, that's what we're doing right now. We're having breakfast with Jesus. It's actually brunch now because it's like 10 something. Brunch with Jesus. And he will appear for us today. It's that kind of a miracle. It's that kind of love that he gives us. And he said the question to Peter. What did he ask you? What did he ask me? Not my staff. <laughs> Thank you, staff. What did he ask Peter in the gospel? Do you love me more than these? Do you love me more than these? And Peter said, hopefully on our behalf, what? No way, Jose, right? <laughs> no, he said yes. He said yes. So, do you love me more than these? Meaning, do you love me more than denying me? Do you love me more than sinning? And that's really what he asked us this morning. The risen Lord Jesus is asking each of us, do you love him more than even the things you do wrong? Do you love him that much? And hopefully with Peter, we say, yes, Lord. But remember, Peter denied him three times. 
So Jesus asked him again, and, and, and Jesus also said to him, Tend my lambs. Take care of my little ones. Take care of my little ones. So he's calling him into ministry. He's calling him into service, as he does to each and every one of us. And so the second time, he asked what? Do you love me? I can tell you're not awake yet, and as if you're not awake yet, I'm going to wake you up. So do you love me? And Peter says, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. And then he says to him, tend my sheep, take care of my sheep. And he says the same to us. Those that we have hurt in our lives, your brothers, your sisters, your mother, your father, your classmates, your teachers, whoever it is, tend my sheep, he says. Tend my sheep. Take care of those that are sitting right next to you right now. Because it's that way that we say, we love you, risen Lord Jesus. And we believe in you. Third question. What was it? Do you love me? <laughs> Thank you. But you know what? The back group is really good, but they didn't get the question. So, what's the question in that group? Do you love me? And Peter said what? Yes. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. What did he say? Yes, that's what he said. Good, they are waiting back here. That's great. He said, you know everything, Lord. You know that I love you. Because he was hurt, he was asked the third time. Because he had denied Jesus and so for him, it was a moment of healing and a moment of grace. And that's what he gives to each and every one of us. A moment of healing and a moment of grace that he gives us. And Jesus turns to him and then says, Tend my sheep. With that, Peter is healed. And he's drawn into the resurrection of Jesus Christ. It cleared away that which was blocking him from really seeing Jesus risen from the dead. And that becomes the question for us. Are we letting all, are we willing to let all of that that blocks us from seeing Jesus risen from the dead in this Mass happen for us? Because that's where discipleship happens. When we meet him. And Peter met him then. And of course Peter became Saint Peter. The first hope of the church. Now I mentioned to you that it was the miracle of the resurrection that was chronicled, chronicled to us in the Gospel of John. Well it's the miracle of the resurrection that we celebrate now in this mass at this altar and we pray in a very special way that the bread and the wine is transformed into the body and blood of Jesus Christ the Jesus who died on the cross for us and gave his life for us but the Jesus that rose from the dead and is in our midst right now to ask us do you love me more than these and our response is, Amen. Yes! Let it be so in my life. Let me share in the resurrection forever. Wow. Give me an Amen. Amen. You just killed me. Give me an Amen. Amen. You still didn't get it. Do you love me more than these? Amen. There's hope for you. <laughs> Let's pray.